the day another video welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing ps2 emulation show you where that you get it on windows and run a few games test them out and go from them i might do a few videos here and there every now and then to uh, show you know maybe some gameplay just fully gameplay through it but for now we're just going to show how to get it where i'm not going to show where to get the roms from but i'm going to show you what you got to do in steps towards you know getting it to work on the system so of course this is steam deck uh change the background again so first of first off we're going to go to pcsx2 and down that's where you get your download from you go here this is where you get your emulator from now they do have a stable and nightly builds I tend to go with the nightly build because it seems like that's what they update more. Um, but stable builds, I don't know. Since it's been 2020, that's a long time ago. And so now you go down here to the bottom, find your, the nightly build. You click on it. You can either download it from here, from the GitHub. Or it should be a way to download. Hit the download link right there. And then you'll come down. The one I'm using, you can use these, but these are like the old format. This is the new format. You download the AVX2 QT and they'll download from there. And so that's how that works. And then once you get it, you extract the folder. It's going to come into a big folder like this. Make sure you make it, put it in its own folder. It's going to have its own updater, which you'll see it comes up in a second anyway. See, it automatically updates. I mean, it gives you the update information and all that, so you don't have to worry about trying to go, you know, re update it every time. And there you go. And it's just that easy to. And there you go. Now, as you can see, it's the same game list from the Ambernick device. Um, so I'm not going to run through every game on here. I'm going to try to pick maybe five games and run through those games maybe a few more minutes more. Then I did with the Aminek device. The Aminek device, if you want to go back and check that video out, it shows what all, you know, what all I did on that. But first off, I'm going to go in. Before you, when you first load this up, it's going to say in the middle that you need BIOS and um, bio files. You're going to also need uh, the ROMs. These are the ROMs, but you're going to have to put in your own BIOS. Now, all you have to do is Google search BIOS, uh, PS2 bio files. You can find a whole folder with BIOS and then you can create the download it, put it in his own folder and then pop it up over here, put it in this section and you know, there you go. Uh, emulation likes to the games and stuff, you can go online. There's plenty of places to go online. It's, it's really not that hard to find them. Um, and then, you know, you can put your game list and stuff like that. And then, you know, that makes it easier for that. Uh, I need to put in the controller because I did end up getting a controller, but that controller didn't work out, so I'm going to have to end up getting another controller. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new controller. If I can get this to page to even. It's like it's not really formatted right for the. Uh, it's not really formatted right for some reason. But it is recognizing the Xbox controller. Yeah, it's at least recognizing the Xbox controller at least that much. So I'm going to go in and map the buttons. R2, R1. Basic stuff. L3 is, of course, the click. Pressure modifier. I'm not really going to worry about that one. Triangle square circle and the cross button as they say it's not the X button it's the cross button uh, right hand low down. down and last but not least right now the only thing I got to do now I got to find some kind of weight uh, they disappeared didn't it yep oh well have to redo that I guess Where, where did it? Uh, I hate when this stuff happens like that. 
Mm, go back in and try it again. Alright, try this one more time. Oh, not the high keys. I don't care about the high keys. That's for if you want to use for a keyboard. We're going to go back in and try to get this second controller. Okay, so everything is saved from that part. But I keep doing that. I have no idea. That's crazy. Close one more time. It looks like it recognizes the controllers are still there for the second dual shock, so I might not even mess with it. But normally I like to go down to the bottom, hit the save. You know. But I cannot pull it up for whatever reason. It would not. So we're just going to exit it and say that it took it and registered. Alright. So that's the only thing I hate about the Steam Deck. Because like I said, it's not a real Windows machine. It is literally a Steam Deck made from Valve to play your Steam games on the Steam Linux side. And it's really just for that purpose and that purpose only but because it has the ability to run windows and it does run it really well you do come into small issues and that's why a lot of the pages and people are coming into issues and things like that so I can understand why it does do that but it's still to the point it does get annoying uh, you don't want to really deal with a lot of that stuff like that it just but it's not hard and it's not a nerve-wracking issue it's just small stuff you got to worry about so You're going to run through Sonic Heroes, go through the first level, try it out, you know, try it, like I said, a few games off the list, show how well it runs. Of course, I can bring the graphics up a little bit more better, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's go down to graphics, and let's see, display, borderless windows, it's fine. That stuff I normally don't mess with rendering. Well, it's at 1080p, so it is at 3x. So it does look a little... I guess I could run Sonic Heroes a little bit higher, but it, let's just leave it at the 3x. 3x is actually 1080p, so it should be clear enough. All right. Rest it this game I haven't played in a while, so just give it time. Hey guys, spread out. Level up. to the checkpoint and restart from that spot when you lose your life. Each checkpoint increases the leader's level too. There they are. Eggman's robot. Leave them to me, Sonic. Yeah, leave it to me. Not bad. Look out! Stay! Yes. Stay! Hit! Hit! Stay! 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 Here we go! Yeah! Got it! Good luck! They never give up, do they? Yeah! 
Level up! Yahoo! The rooms in this area move when you walk up to them. Yeah! Ready? Yeah! Level up! Yeah! Best left to Tails. Leave it to me. Yay! Let's go! Let's go! Whee! Alright! Alright! Level up! Let's head up there. Yeah! Whee! Let's leave the flying enemies to Tails. He'll bring them down using Thunder Shoot. Yay! Yay! Let's go! Yay! Let's go! Here we go! Got it! Got it! <laughs> Got it! Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Level up! Take this, take this! Take this, take this! Let Sonic take care of this. That's it! 
What a wild ride. Yeah. 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 Take this. Yeah. Go. Yeah. 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 Whoa. made it. Alright, that's Sonic for you. Not bad, not bad. Had a little issues here and there with the camera angles, of course, because of the controller. I guess it's the way the controllers mount, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Not too, too bad. Let's get through this bonus stage right quick and then we'll move on to the next game. On the stage, you know? I haven't seen this in so long. I forgot how fun this on the stage used to be. That's a lot of controls. Get those, I can't. Oh, not that one. Come on, son, go. Ooh, I barely got that. At least I'm gonna make it. I don't know how I'm gonna survive in this. Well, that shit in town when I ran out. I was going right back to 10 seconds already. Yeah! Wow, just in clutch. Right. Wow, that was clutch. That was clutch. I don't even know how I even made that one. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, we made it though. Not bad. Surprising, even as bad as I was doing. I still made it to end. That's very surprising. Alright, now nah, we're not going to do this part. We're going to just stop it here. Oh, that's another Sonic now video record. A Sonic. Uh, I remember this place. This place was annoying. But we're not going to play here, so no. Dang, I got to push the start button for me to close out of it. Mm. Let's blast oh, with Sonic speed. Anyway, I got to push it up. Alright, so we'll shut that down. Alright, so that's Sonic Heroes. Shin Megami Tensei. Them games run fine. Underground. This, uh, Underground been running really well. So I'm going to show you that one. Uh, from the Win 600 to Underground 1 and 2 didn't really run that well. It ran, but it didn't run that well. Let's just say that. Yeah. Underground 1 and 2 actually runs pretty well on the Steam Deck. Decently. Let's just say that. I ain't gonna say it. it still has its issues, but not as 
not as bad as the not as bad as the one six hundred. Copyright music. I'm not gonna try to try to get past the quickest process so you can get on past it. Yeah, low, 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 low. I'm gonna talk through it so that way I don't get too many copyright strikes because. I had to take down my previous video with the PC games because of the music copyright I had in the background. So I'm gonna try to watch what I put in the background and stuff like that. So that way I don't have to, you know. I'm just gonna pick it and go on by the business. Because I gotta get out that music. Good music, good visuals and stuff. It's pretty fun. But getting it to run on the system, it looks really good. It's fun. No issues. Century. It looked like it was going too slow. It was moving, but it was going slow. On here, running perfectly fine. Yeah, show two just to show that it is running so that way and that'd be a quick video on that or a quick you know run through on that and then we'll do one more game and go from there. so let's shut that one down the used to be underground to play five minutes as you can see it said at the bottom what how long i played on it so we're gonna go through show the underground two does run on here Underground 2 is a hard game to run for some reason. I just don't know why it's hard to run, but it's, it's, it is a hard game to run. Because even on the Win 600, I could not run Underground 2. I tried. It just would not run well at all. Like, it runs, but it was so slow. Like, really slow. On here, I'm running that 3X resolution. You know, no issues. Now, for this part, for Underground 2, for it to run well, I did have to go in and do a little adjustments on here. You have to turn the cycle skip to underclock. Um, 
you can, I mean, you can make your adjustments. If I'm not mistaken, I always. Let me see. See the underclock or overclock? I can't remember exactly which one it was. Let's see. Key set. As you can see that difference in the music now, the music is a lot different. Everything sound right, moving right, no issues. Other than that, I mean, even with the underclock and overclock on the um, when 600 still was not, it just was that that system was not. A, I like the Win 600, and I probably, like I said, I am going to get another one eventually to try to get, you know, for my older games and stuff that I have on here. But past that, I'm not getting it for it. Just, I just want to be able to take the older games I have on this system, the Steam Deck, and be able to move it over to the uh, that, and then we're going to put the newer games on here and test more games for you guys to see. You know. As you can see, right? Running fine, except for we keep getting the accidents with cars. Let's see if we can ever catch up. It's been so long since I played Underground 2. I've been playing Underground 1 lately, trying to get through that and clear that game. That's why I have, like I said, I have an hour now. Took it with me to the hospital to help. You know, I had to go to the hospital for somebody, a family member. And playing offline felt fine, felt perfectly fine. Tested out. Since I had the Steam Deck, it's been a really well made system. I mean, it runs everything to what I needed to do. Games play offline, no problem. Right, now I can try this car. Everything ran well, no, no issues. All you gotta do is get your little Xbox controller if you wanna play on a monitor like this. And you know, you're good to go. I cannot drive. It's like this has got a. I don't know if it's delaying the controls. I have to figure it out. It's running at three times resolution, and that's actually pretty impressive itself. I didn't have to take it down to native resolution, so that's pretty impressive. That's well. Back button saying control on this game. Because you keep trying to hit the back brake buttons and it's not. Yeah, I don't use that. Yeah, you can see it's not giving me no issues. None whatsoever. As long as you uh, 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 my maximum overclock it. Uh, I cannot drive anymore. I'm winning, that's not, I mean, it's just the point, though, it's still, I ain't used to, I used to be a beast at racing, but racing games have fell off, especially with Diva Speed, thank goodness that Unbound has actually been playing pretty well, I've been playing that on the Steam Deck as well, and that's actually running pretty well, it's not actually, it looks pretty good on there, and runs no problem, playing it on the, you know, the EA 10 hour trial, and it's, I'm having fun with the game, it's, yeah, it's a little corny in some spots, but other than that, it's pretty fun. All the thing I gotta get used to is the drifting on that, but other than that, it's not a bad game at all. I like to put Elden Ring, you know, the game of the year on there, and try to get Cyberpunk to show you how Cyberpunk runs on it from my experience. Uh, so that way you can see if you really want to play those games. But as far as emulation goes, emulation is, is pretty much perfect. 
for the most part. I mean, it's still a lot of tweaks that the emulators have to build upon anyway. But as far as PS2, wise PS2, most of the catalog is running well along here. Probably can even play one of the old God of Wars and stuff like that on here. One, you know, of course, you everybody know God of War is a difficult game to you know play on emulators, especially on low end devices. But I believe this thing that can do it. takes care of that so it shows you need for speed both this was a hard game to run as well and it runs fine all right now let me change my settings back on that because i do want to change those back i don't want to have those throttling emulation on the clock put it back in normal speed because everything else as far as i know didn't really need that all right of course the budokai series are pretty easy to run um Let's see, what could we try out? I guess we could try out Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, you could put Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, Final Mix on PS3, which I think that's what I am going to do. But because PS2 games don't hold that much memory, I'm going to leave it on here for now. But I think I'm going to put uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, either on the PS3 emulator or either just buy the, or you can just buy the PC side. It really it makes no difference. Just put it on standard mode for now. That can beat it on critical and proud, no problem, but we'll just put it on for the video. As you can see, it was running 60, now it's running 30. Video running 60 FPS. We're going to skip the cutscenes because they copyrighted. Of course, try to skip as much as I can. I think even on the Win 600, Kingdom Hearts didn't run as well. I, I, I had to go back and look at the video, but I remember the movement didn't feel fluid. But I mean, as you can see, Ken Ross too, I'm moving perfect fine. Roxas is no longer, you know, it's not stiff, nothing. Jumping button, no delay. The camera looks good. Good music, you know, very good game. But yeah, everybody should know Ken Ross is pretty good. I had a hit or miss, you know, with Ken Ross 3, but it bounced back around. Sixty FPS, no issues. Double click, get back into it. And you just say and play Kingdom Hearts three on the go, no issues. Kingdom Hearts two on the go, Kingdom Hearts one. We always wanted to go portable where you could play it on the go, and we thought with the Switch it was going to do that, but they wanted to put it on cloud version, which why I don't know. You can always go download emulators, download the PC now with the Steam Deck out. Now you can play it. Take it on the go, no issues. Which is kind of stupid that Switch wouldn't let you just play it native, but it's, it's kind of retarded. But it is what it is. Now that we have a Steam Deck and other new devices that then came out, the 1X player and stuff like that, now you're able to just do that on the go without having to worry about it. Which makes the Switch kind of obsolete, but it's more for the kids' side, and it's, it's adults that play it too. And don't get me wrong, you have your friends, if your friends have it, the Switch is a fun device, but for me personally, because I do like Switch games, but I don't need a Switch, and I want more than a Switch, I want more than with the average, you know, stuff like that, that's why I ended up buying the, the Win 600, but the Win 600, you see how that went. Now we're on Steam Deck. And it's, you know, Normally when I pick that, I normally with the attack because the attack is easier to control and easier to level up, but I just picked the first thing I have on here. And <laughs> Skip, and we're just going to go through and play this part right here, and that's it. We're going to get out of here. And 
just to show you that it is running at full speed. My bad guy. Well, I'm running over 30 frames per second. But then I, you don't really feel it. You, you can't really tell. At 30 frames per second was Kingdom Hearts playing back in the day anyway. Slowdowns, man. I mean, it feels good. No problems. All right, so we're gonna end huh. that one as well. And one more, nothing. and then we'll call it from there. All right, let's see. So we did Sonic Heroes. We did the Underground series. Of course, we did Kingdom Hearts, but we tied Masashi and Final Fantasy into that. Final Fantasy and Furious. We'll go with the racing, so we won't touch that. Larry, Legion Larry, not gonna play that on stream, cause you know. Yeah, if you know, you know it's an adult game, but it, it, it's a fun. I mean, it's okay. It's just a one of them weird kind of games. You have to really actually like it. All right, let's try Shimogami, and we'll call it there. And then if there's any PS2 games that you guys want to see, put it in the comments, and I'll try to see if I can go download it or any GameCube, Wii, stuff like that, because I need to, you know, add a few more games to each of them collections. Which, cause we being limited on memory right now, with the you know SSD got five twelve gigabytes and that's pretty much stored up. And my SD card is pretty stored up too. I still have a hundred gigabytes left, but it's it's pretty stored up there now. And with FES, of course, you got the journey and answer. Which comes back to the thing about the new Persona games coming out next month. Well, not new. The remakes of them. Um, why did they not do the FES version instead of portable? I think FES would have been perfectly fine. Or even just the base, base of the game. You know, I feel like they could have brought it out. I just feel like they didn't want to waste their time. But at the same time... Portable version is not as fun as the FES or the bigger version. Just play. I'm not trying to say it right now. Whatever. It's not like I'm saving this right now anyway. Of course, the characters depicted in the work is purely fiction. Let's say it in every Persona game. As you can see, of course, it's running perfectly well, no issue. Ah, I don't know how to go with that DJ, I don't know. They're just making up a names. Making up names, just trying to get to the video and just trying to see how it plays. Hey, it's Mitsuru and Hello. everybody other favorite girl, Yukari. Hey, come on, come on. I haven't finished Persona 3, and I really need to finish it. It's, it seemed like a really good game, and I actually like it for what I've been playing. But I've been playing it on the PS3 that I actually found, and I actually... Um, Jailbroken that to where now I can install games on there as well. Um, but of course, you have to look that up on YouTube. Look at Mr. Mario, and this is Mr. Wario, easy and so to like that. Oh, yeah, so. I'm sh now that I have this on the Steam Deck, though, I might actually play this on the Steam Deck. I just had to start over because I actually got through the first two boss battles. I'm on a third one now, but I just I haven't been had time to get back on it. It's your car. I don't know. It's fun. I don't have an issue at all playing it on here. It's actually fun sitting back watching it. And then the fact you have it to be able to play it on the portable, you know, 
That's why I don't understand why they give you the portable version when you can download FES and play it just as fine on the Steam Deck. I understand they they, they making it look better and stuff like that, but y'all can do better. These these gaming companies, I don't recommend piracy and stuff, but at the same time, it, why not? Because you guys, the game companies, don't do right by the community. Like it's just. It don't make sense that the community has to fix certain stuff for it to work. I'm, I mean, it's just to me. I do want to be represented by a community, uh, you know, represented by somebody, you know, helping promote stuff. But I only promote stuff that's going to positively help people. I'm not going to promote just because it got a dollar behind the name. Don't get me wrong, everybody need money. I need money too. But at the end of the day, money ain't the reason why. I do the YouTube videos. I do the YouTube videos to try to help those that need help or have any questions or concern as the average man or average woman as myself. And, you know, I don't mind helping somebody that actually wants to help themselves, you know. So, gaming companies and stuff like that, I, I really don't. Like Nintendo, I, I, they get mad at the community for pirating their games and doing this and that, but you wonder why they do it. I mean, common sense if you would do the right thing you wouldn't have that issue you wouldn't have people stealing your stuff you wouldn't have and then a lot of times these people just doing basic stuff you know they're not you know they're not trying to um yeah let's see when it was november 30th deleting boot over because I don't, I don't remember what i put on them but like i said people wouldn't do stuff if it wasn't for the companies doing consumer wrong like I said just like the Nintendo Switch stuff I don't mind now that stuff yeah I don't condone it but I'm not gonna sit there and say I don't do it myself but for a legal sense of things I'm gonna say I, I, I own the stuff whether they had a proof or not they not gonna get the proof out of me or not that's on them you, you can continue from a previously saved game yeah, so you know but if you need help and you want me to show you how to do it exactly, just hit me up in the comment section and I'll come in. We'll have a private conversation. Go from there. But as long as you, you know, it's trying to help you to teach you how to do stuff, not to teach you, you know, to get somebody in trouble and stuff like that. Because I, I, I'm not going to put my channel on risk for nobody but it's just the point if you need help i'll help you but uh you see jerry mosey work perfectly well no issue no problem 60 fps 60 f you know six frames a second there you go shut it down all right so that's just a few games on this channel there's a few games we did sonic heroes did the underground for need with speed we did persona 3 fes we did kingdom hearts 2 we also did dragon ball z just for a little feeling you know, go on, so fun, whatever. So, but if there's any games that you want to see on the channel, any games that at all that you think that would be a perfect fit for you or that you want to try and see if it will run well on there, for the most part, I know most of the PS2 games do run on there, but if it's a game that's specifically that you want to see uh, ran on there that, you know, you have a question and you're concerned about, you know, let me know in the comments if it, uh, instructions on how to download and stuff like that wasn't clear to you also let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you on the, you know and comment back on the question that you have but that's gonna do it for this video I appreciate everybody that been here every support all the you know help tips and everything that people been giving me and um, we'll see see you in the next video most likely it'll be I guess a GameCube emulation or We'll see how it goes from there. So, until the next one, peace.